Hey guys, welcome. The weather in the last few days here in Slovenia has really been horrible, so I wasn't able to take my camera in the field. That's why I'm filming inside a shipping container darkroom today, and I'm gonna be making the famous Kodak D76 developer from scratch. So yeah, let's roll the video. To make D76 developer you will need some water, sodium sulfate, borax, hydroquinone, and metal and then you also need a precise scale thermometer something to mix things with i will be using this magnetic stir but you can also use a glass rod or whatever then you need a container to mix things in and container for storage at the end so yeah let's start making the developer For me it's hard to buy darkroom chemicals at the moment because they're either out of stock or shipping takes ages. That's why I think it's important that you're able to make your own stuff. Kodak D76 is really a classic and very versatile developer. It provides full emotion speed, great shadow detail with normal contrast and produces a really fine grain with a variety of different black and white films. There we go, I finished weighing the chemicals and I will be dissolving them in the same order as I present them to you here. So we have 2 grams of metal, 100 grams of sodium sulfate, 5 grams of hydroquinone and 2 grams of borax. And now it's time to fill this cup up with hot water. You need 750 milliliters of it. I recommend you to use distilled water, I will be using water from the tap because I know it's okay. Temperature of the water should be around 50 degrees Celsius or around 125 degrees Fahrenheit. If it's a bit over, it's not that big of a deal. A bit more. There you go, we are at 750 milliliters. So yeah, now we can start adding all the chemicals. Yeah, before it gets cold, let's start mixing. Put the, the cup with water on top of the mixer and throw the magnet in. I usually start with a slow speed and now it's time to add all the chemicals. First we will add metal. to stick to the to anything basically so I just wash it off with some water from the cup then it's time to slowly add the sodium sulfate you can see the solution already turned a bit yellow now and now it's totally clear again Now all the sodium sulfate is added. Now we can proceed by adding the hydroquinone. This one also sticks to the plastic as you can see. Now it's time to add borax, basically all of these chemicals are quite hazardous, so make sure to handle them with care. Let's take a bit closer look, as you can see the solution is already fairly well mixed, so you can proceed by adding water until you reach 1 liter. There you go, 
now the solution is mixed completely so I can turn off the magnetic stir. I will be storing the solution inside this brown bottle because it tends to, um, to preserve the solution longer. Take the magnet out. There you go guys, I just finished making my very own D76 developer from scratch and in the video next week I'm also gonna be testing it out by shooting and developing some dry plates. So yeah, I would kindly invite you to subscribe to the channel and I wish everybody a happy new year. Stay safe, bye!